It's officially time for Chiefs training camp. Day one this morning over at Missouri Western and Kikadu's Mitchell Riverall there and joins us live from Spratt Stadium with more on today's first practice. Well, like you said, Chris, it is finally here. Chiefs training camp back in St. Joseph. And today was day one, and it was a chance for a lot of the season ticket holder fans to get a look at Travis Kelsey and the rest of the players for the first time this season. And the first look at players like Justin Reed and Juju Smith-Schuster for the first time as Chiefs players. First time being out here, uh, staying in dorms, kind of reminding me of the old days and this is the experience. And like you said, having the fans out here, um, man, it's a huge fan base and I'm not surprised how much it come out with support. And without Orlando Brown Jr. at training camp due to those contract negotiations, the Chiefs trying to find a potential replacement for the time being at that position, even trying out Roderick Johnson today. But head coach Andy Reid saying nothing is set in stone as of now for that spot. So, um, I thought he was productive in the off season, and so um, coming in, we, you know, we thought he could could help out there. So I mean, we'll just see see how it rolls. Keep rotating, keep rotating them in. So until nobody, nothing's solidified there. So the Chiefs finishing day one of training camp and head coach Andy Reid says he was pretty happy with the performance of a lot of the drills, especially the back and forth from offense and defense on seven on seven. And they will be right back here tomorrow at 915 a.m., which is open to the general public reporting from Spratt Stadium. Mitchell Riverall, KQ2 Sports.